So in this video, I'm going to go through um, some features in game design. In this one, we're just looking at making a draggable sprite for the user and how to use the checkbox uh, function in this. So what I'm going to do is make this uh, draggable sprite across the screen uh, on the uh, x-axis, but keeping the y-axis the same and only allow this happen if the checkbox is checked. So I'm going to come to my image sprite 2, that's the one in the bottom there, and I'm going to say when it's dragged. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my if logic here, and I'm going to say, you know what, if that checkbox 1 is checked, then what I want to be able to do is I want to call that image sprite 2 to move to a certain XY coordinates. Now what I want to be able to do is get the previous x that it was at and move to the current x. So I'm going to go to that previous x here. And because I want to keep my sprite the same on the same y, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab my y-axis and say, hey, if it stays on that, y, it's going to stay on the y-axis, but move when I drag it based on my finger movement from the previous x to the current x. So if I bring up my simulator here, we're going to see my button is off and I can't drag it. So when it is on, it's now draggable. So again, this is just an easy way to uh, make a sprite moving on an axis such as like a ball breaker game or like what's asked, being asked in this germ fighter game that you're being asked to design as well.